like around me. <laughs> They're very friendly today. Uh -huh. They think we're gonna feed them. Yep. Welcome to the first swimming session of the season in our swimming pond. It is freezing. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna be able to stand to get in, but we're gonna do it. I'm always afraid she's gonna fall in like she did that one time. If she does, then she'll. She loves to drink from it. <laughs> that is so funny. And we have one fun surprise. Ethan's yeah. back with us. So Ethan's been staying in our master bedroom during uh, the last few months because he went back to school and we were trying to keep him separate from the family for quarantining purposes. Anyways, he's back now. We can all be together now. And so now it's swimming season. <laughs> Just look at those fish. I'm gonna go right up to her. Stay look at love, that. Stay look at that. They're like right next to her. You love that, Sailor? Who's gonna just jump in? Jump Let's in, Dad. See then. Ethan, are you brave enough to just jump in? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so cold. Oh, that's it's so not cold. That bad. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, except don't splash. Just do it over on that rock. That's so cold. So far, mom has gotten in all the way. Dad's working on a project and Lydia's gotten in about halfway. I'm working on it. Salem got in for like two snow. seconds and then ran away. Snow. And I'm struggling to get in. <laughs> Ethan's got one toe in. It's too cold. Believe it or not, we've always struggled with growing water lilies here in Arizona because of the sun. It's just like too bright, it kills them. So since Kevin put the shade up though, look how good they're doing. Like, we've never had this much success with water lilies, so we're pretty excited about it. Giving them a little bit of shade makes them so pretty. They bloom, grow all the pads out. I'm hoping it'll grow really far out. We have these little snails all over the pond and they eat algae on the rocks. Look at that, it's climbing. It's looking for algae. And most of the fish will swim away, but we noticed that those uh, hybrid bluegills kind of come up to us and try to nibble on our toes. A lot of people have told us they would never swim in a pond that had fish. So post below if you would do that, because we're fine with that. We're fine with swimming with fish, but some people get ugh, the heebie-jeebies. She's gonna go over She's there. She's gonna go follow Salem. I wonder if she'll go in the waterfall. She might fall in, guys. She wants to be by Salem. <laughs> go in, go on. Oh, guys, I think she's gonna fall. She's biting <gasps> off a little bit more than she can chew right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, she's, she's so gonna brave. Fall in. You gonna back up now? That's the that's the scary part. You're gonna fall in. You're gonna slip. Your hooves aren't made for wall climbing. <laughs> she's like, wait a minute. Dad's gonna get his dream to swim with a pig. Oh, she's giving up. There she <laughs> she's goes. going back. Well, I think that was a pretty successful first time swimming. Except <laughs> Ethan's not gonna get in, so we're gonna have to convince him. And I think a few of the catfish are ready to be caught, so maybe in a future video this summer we can catch some catfish and have a catfish dinner with it. Well, well, well. Oh, she laid down. Oh, no. <laughs> Kevin! Oh, Guys, no. it feels so good. Salem! Salem, why did you teach her that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. A pig in the pond, guys. The intake is where all the water gets sucked in to get pumped back up here to get filtered. So all the flow of the water comes this way. And so that's why this is so shallow. It kind of is a natural skimmer and it gets the stuff off the top of the pond. Oh my gosh. She's gonna just play with those rocks. If she swallows a rock, <laughs> oh.
This is our evening. We've got four kitties in a Salem and one big long tube that they love, <laughs> that they love going in. The tunnel of... Tunnel of death. He's going in and out trying to get it. This fluffy kitty, Lucifer, is by far the fastest. Oh yeah, yeah. So oh yeah, fast. he runs so fast. Let's get him go. There's one. Get him, get him. Salem, you get him if they come out that end. Oh, get him. <laughs> get him, Salem, get him. <laughs> okay, there's gonna be one coming out that side. <laughs> well, Pepper Pumpkin, here's what we decided to do with her. Some of you said we should just keep trying to get her friendly with our cats or that we should rehome her to a home that somebody could keep her inside. And we ended up deciding to just open the door and let her out. And so far it's been great. She got out, she went off and hid somewhere. So we didn't see her for a couple days. We got worried and then she came back and she's been eating food and hanging around with us now. So crossing our fingers, she stays around. I think she will because she's starting to come up to us and she's so familiar with us now after like four months in that cage. Um, but yeah, I think this will hopefully be a good option for her. She used to be a feral cat that my aunt took in and then when my aunt passed away we took her so I think that she'll be okay outdoors there's not a lot of places that our cats like to go since we have so many fun things here on the farm to chase and <laughs> watching the fish in the pond so anyway that's the saga of pepper pumpkin and hopefully she stays around I think she will well guys we are excited because we just found like five apricots on our tiny little tree yep there's just a few more up there, Lydia. Branch down. Oh. Oh, okay. Teeny tiny little apricots. There's like 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> whole apricots. <laughs> that one's a good one. Let's eat this one. Okay. Are we sure there's <clears throat> no other We're gonna peel this open. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's little, but we'll take it. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why I can't we have more? Oh. My yeah. favorite. One of these days, guys, hmm. we'll finally grow enough apricots. I don't know why I'm wishing for apricots when I have all of these beautiful peaches ready to harvest. It's always tough to know when exactly to pick peaches. Of course you would want to pick them when they're ripe, but the birds start to get to them right before that happens. And I've realized over the years that trying to cover the peaches with tulle or organza bags is just a lot of work and not super effective. So my friend Angela of Growing in the Garden told me the best time to pick peaches is when the birds are starting to eat them. <laughs> That's how you know that they're ready to go and they can finish their ripening on the counter. So I think we did pretty well. This tree keeps producing more each year and I'm happy with it. The first thing we have to do though is separate the peaches. The ripe ones, of course, I'll put in the fridge so that they don't spoil. But the hard ones, they're gonna stay on the counter and it'll only take them a few days to start to get nice and squishy. And let's see if you guys can guess what Lydia and I are gonna make from our first peach harvest. Sit down. Yes. That's so good. That's so good, Sana. Ow! Oh, she always does that, Mom. What? She goes down and she stabs the edges of my toes with her toenails. <laughs> well, don't She's... stand so close to her. Gosh. I'm not. She's the one who puts her fat feet down and digs them into my toes. <laughs> I've literally never had to her do that. <laughs> You're never barefoot around the house. Is that enough now? No. More. That's a lot. Is it? Oh, that sugar. If I dumped this on the floor, how mad would you be? I would cry. I would go cry. How are you gonna mash it? I don't know. You mash it just a little bit. <laughs> Get it a little muddled. Okay. You know? I need like a fork. It's gonna be all juicy. Well, that's good. We want the juices. Ouch, my finger. 
First your toe. Now your finger. Ow. Okay, so vanilla, this is paste, so it's never... <laughs> I don't think it's gonna come out. <laughs> it, it will. You just... Need... You just have to wait like 20 minutes. <gasps> Here it comes. There you go, okay. Whoa, that's, that's vanilla paste. Do I mix it? Yeah, and actually, let's put sugar in it too. Oh, it's not mixing very well. Sugar. Is that mashy enough? Yeah. Is that enough sugar? Or just guessing? I don't know, because I remember every time we used to make ice cream, I would always be like, it's not sweet enough. Okay. It would be cream. But also, just go with your instinct, because I don't want you to not like it. Because then you won't eat it. Okay. I think that's mushy enough. Mm -hmm. All right, now for the milk. You ready? That good? Yeah. Okay. More milk than that? No, I don't. I don't know. I was thinking to make about four cups of peach ice cream. But it, it gets bigger than that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that tastes good. Sweet? Yeah, I think that's sweet enough. Okay. Okay. Let's just do like a small batch then. That'll be good. Okay. I think that's enough. Let's just add a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put more sugar in it? No, it's good. It's Taste it. It's super sweet. Taste it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I don't want you to be like, it's... Okay, that's, it's good. It, no, it's good. It's good. Okay, okay. That looks pretty good, Lydia. I think we did a good job. We did it perfectly. That looks like good peach ice cream. We did a good job. Ice cream. Okay. Oh, is it not very sweet? Is it sweet enough? Oh, it is sweet enough. You were <laughs> right. There you go. You were right. Yum, let's give some to Ethan. When you make ice cream with goat's milk and there's no cream added, you can't really call it an ice cream. It's more of an ice milk, but it's still amazing. Do your trick. We're waiting. Go ahead, jump over. Oh, you're only gonna do it when we're not watching? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave this camera here to try to catch her doing it, okay? While I go feed the babies some food. I'm gonna watch Winnie. <clears throat> okay, you watch Winnie. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this right here to catch her doing it. Oh, really? She tried? Yeah, and then, and then, and then she, and then she hit it to one, and she put it, and then she fell down. Wow. Okay, Liddy. Grab a chick. I'm gonna grab a couple. Okay. Oh, you got them. Okay, hand those to Ethan. Should I put the house down? Best way. What's the best way, Mom? I don't know. Grab Kiwi's neck. No. I'm not gonna smash any, am I? Nope, you're good. Okay. Ethan's got Kiwi. Lydia's got two chicks. And I've got two chicks. And Luna's assisting. Oh, that tall grass, they're gonna hide in it completely. Okay. All right, they're gonna love it. Go ahead and Ready? put her down. Boom. Hello. There's Hello. your babies. We still have like two more. I'll go get them. Oh, <laughs> her 
gonna climb on her back. <laughs> this is a soft. We just need a little ramp up to that little house. Okay. Just a piece of wood. Okay. All Let's right, two tiny ball. ones left. I know. Do you like that? Oh, how they climb on her? Yeah. Do you want to do something? Okay. Okay, Kiwi, you and your six chicks gonna just hang out here. We just have to put a ramp over our, over on that little house. Yep. And then they're good. Hold on. We're showing them how they slide down her back. Oh, it's gonna. Oh! <laughs> Why would you do that to your mother? There's a little bit of food for you guys. All right, last piece. A little ramp. <laughs> Good enough. All right guys, thanks for joining us in today's video. We are so excited that summer's here and Ethan's back with us and we're gonna have a lot of fun adventures this summer. So if you wanna go ahead and watch an older video of the last tour on our farm, we need to do another one, but go watch the last one on our farm. You can click right here.